let's do a quick comparison if you notice here on my left I have a problem and I have the first method above it and on my right I have the same problem there are two identical problems and I have the second method there so what I'll do I'm just going to solve this one way and I'm going to solve this another way and then you choose which way you prefer okay now based on what the rule states up here uh, it states that uh, when the power is negative if a base is raised to a negative power we place one above the base and the power becomes positive okay so simply that's what we're going to be doing now i'm just going to place one above my base and my base in this case is a fraction it's four upon five four upon five and if you notice four upon five was raised to the negative three but because i have placed the one above it now well the three would become positive now this implies my friends that i can just write this another way this is really saying one divided by divided by and i have a four upon five okay and that is all raised to the positive three okay my friends now this can be simply this can be quickly simplified and in simplification I can just simply say then that this is one divided by and I'm just going to ex expand this so you can see it a bit clearer uh, I have my open bracket this is saying four times four times four in my numerator and that is all upon five times five times five in my denominator okay now really what we have left here we have our one let's put it back divided by we know that four times four that's 16 and 16 times four that would give us a 64 okay so my numerator would work out to be 64 and then I have a 5 times 5 that's 25 and 25 times 5 that's 125 okay now we would have learned from earlier lessons that when we are when we are uh, dividing fractions it is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal so again I would have my one at the front and then I am changing my division sign to multiplication and then I'm just going to flip the fraction at the back so I would have 125 upon 64 okay so one one times anything is itself so essentially what this is our answer would be 100 125 all upon 64 okay my friends and that simply would be our answer now that's the first method of working it out and uh, as I've said based on the rule but based on the intuition behind it as how we have been working it in the in the in this lesson so far basically the second method what you could do you could just simply say okay since I I, since my base is raised to a negative power I'm just going to flip my base okay so instead of having 4 upon 5 I would simply have a 5 upon 4 okay and since I flip that then my base becomes positive okay my friends so really what I have left here okay I would have let me just change the color I would have left here simply in my numerator I would have 5 times 5 times 5 okay because that's what my numerator is saying all upon in my denominator I would have a 4 times 4 times 4 okay my friends and that implies then that I would have 5 times 5 is 25 25 times 5 that's 125 okay all upon 4 times 4 that's 16 and 16 times 4 that's 64 and that's my answer okay so I'm again my friends I have just worked it one problem to both ways so it's up to you to choose which way you prefer okay uh, it's just math uh, there are many ways to work out a problem now feel free to ask a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye